Imagine this, you're sitting in class tapping your pencil on your desk, the monotone noise of the teacher endlessly droning on and on. You think, when is this class going to be over? When is school going to be over? Raise your hand if you've ever experienced something like this before. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you have. This highlights a major pervasive issue with our school systems. It's that many students don't like school and learning because they don't find it fun. Now you might be saying, well, of course school doesn't have to be fun. It's school. But what if it was fun? How much better would students perform and how much more productive would students feel if they thought that learning was fun? And how different would the school system be if we could foster a love of learning and school? Now this problem in schools is of course not the student's fault, but it is some critical faults in the school system. There are many solutions to this problem and I hope to explain some to you today, but I also feel my experiences have greatly influenced my understanding of these solutions. Specifically, for a large part of my life, I've been interested in aviation, engineering, and other STEM topics, so I'm very much a nerd. And when I'm learning about engineering or how the radar in an airplane works, for example, it really doesn't feel like learning to me. So I thought, how could this feeling be applied to all topics? And how could I make learning more fun for everyone? Let me give you three main ways to make this possible. Firstly, students oftentimes care about the grade more than anything else and lose sight of the goal, which is to enrich their knowledge of that topic as well as to learn how to learn. Specifically, they feel that the grade is so important to the point that it's all they focus on and they don't actually learn because schools and universities place so much importance on the grade. So, schools need to de-emphasize grades heavily because students will then be able to thrive in a healthier learning environment. Like I was saying, my perspective on this is different than most. I have found that these solutions are present when I'm learning about aviation and engineering. With the idea of lowering the importance of grades, when I'm learning and using physics to help me build a remote controlled airplane or RC airplane, I know that I'm not going to be graded on how well I can use my physics knowledge and this makes it a lot less stressful for me. I have the motivation to learn these topics like physics or math because if I can use these these topics correctly, then I will be, would be able to create an RC airplane that soars in the sky or anything else. Overly emphasizing the grade lowers my motivation to really learn the concept thoroughly. One example that comes to mind about this is many colleges offering pass-fail courses. MIT, for example, has a mandatory pass-fail system for all first-year students which allows them to learn and adjust to MIT without the immense pressure of keeping a high GPA. This system allows students to thrive and learn better without the anxiety of GPA hanging over their heads. In addition to grades, my second point is that learning must be project-based. Project-based learning means that students must learn by doing and put what they've learned into practice with projects that apply to the real world. Really what they're doing is making connections between the subject and the quote unquote real world, preferably something they enjoy. For example, if a student is learning about math but is more interested in art and drawing, they can learn about how math applies to art and vice versa. Also, some schools have become so-called project-based learning schools where every subject must be taught with some sort of project-based learning approach. The idea of seeing my knowledge work to make something leads into my experience with project-based learning. When I'm learning a math concept, for example, I know that I might not use it in its purest form, but I know that with that knowledge, I will be able to contribute to something I like doing, like building a drone, for example. What I'm doing is making connections with things that I enjoy more. Lastly, working with other students and teamwork. When students are working with their friends or people they know, they are much more likely to stay engaged with the work and can learn from their peers as well. 
When students have to work on something by themselves, it can really make it just seem like busy work. So schools need to implement greater instances of group projects to foster teamwork. And to build off this idea of teamwork, I want to mention a story about my sophomore's honors chemistry class. Our teacher, Mr. Price, will always teach a concept as a conversation with us students. He will sit on his desk facing us and ask us questions with different students popping up to answer. And he keeps all the students engaged with the lesson, which I enjoy immensely and feel that it increases my attention span and prevents me from spacing out. It makes me actually like learning. So this idea of keeping the students engaged with a conversation as opposed to a lecture based class can really help students enjoy learning. Also, anytime I can do a project or lab in school with others, I always jump at that opportunity. This is because when I work with other people on a biology lab, for example, I know that I'll be able to give knowledge to my peers and they will be able to give knowledge right back to me. And even if the project seems a little bit boring at first, working with my friends always makes it that much more enjoyable for me. But these principles don't just apply to students. It applies to everyone, and you can apply these principles to your life. Also, these ideas don't just apply to the more nerdy, mathy topics, but to all topics. And I have a challenge for you. In the next few days, if you need to learn about a topic, try to implement some of these ideas, like project-based learning or teamwork. For example, if you are working on learning about a new tool or system for your job, see if you can get a group of people to talk about it and learn about it together, which is similar to project-based learning and teamwork. So take it from a nerd. Next time you're really bored learning, Try to implement these methods to make learning more fun in your day-to-day -day life. Thank you.